Hey everybody, welcome back to Hearthstone. So today I've got a, a different type of video for you. I thought it'd be nice to show you the casual play stuff that I do. So when I build a deck, I go through, it's like a rigorous uh, um, testing process that we go through in casual to find out if we've if we've built a good deck, if we've got the right synergy in the deck. And I built this Hunter deck and I think we should just do a couple of casual games and I'll show you just kind of the process I go through when I'm, when I'm looking to pick cards. And hopefully we'll get a few good games in and see if we can make some good things. So this deck, I've called it the Greatest Deck 2014 because, quite frankly, it's incredibly good. And um, and we'll see how it holds up against some other characters. Hunter I took specifically because Hunter's got a class that a lot of people say isn't powerful enough. And I, I, I would maybe differ with that opinion. It just depends on what card you're playing. Um, with this deck, I've actually gone with all um, neutral cards. No, no hunter specific cards, it's all neutral cards. Oh, we've got a hunter, very good, so we can see how we pair up against Rexar here. So, pick Taros, so we get, um, as far as a, an opening hand goes, that's that's fairly solid, I'd say. Um, I might, th no, we'll keep, we'll keep all of that, that looks okay going second, I think that should be fine. Particularly excited about the Elven Archer and what it may do with that one damage, it could be, it could be the difference between a win or a loss, you never know. So, Pictaros, what do you have for me? Let's play a card, let's see what's going on. We'll say greetings, greetings also. Traveler. Greetings, traveler. So the boar, the boar has come out. I think it's worthwhile playing the, the Elven Archer and the Wisp at this point. So, I think we'll do Elven Archer there. Ah, oh, and we've got the Angry Chicken also. This is exciting, exciting stuff going on here right now. I'll keep the coin for another play. So we played at the West barely. that is probably going to be instrumental in making sure that we win this bout. So he's got the Raptor, the Raptor's come out, that's that's fair enough, we understand that the Raptor's something that could cause problems. But I think we, we have the Iron for Grizzly, which is just a solid taunt, so I think we'll just play out the, the Grizzly now, and use our 1-1s here to, to get rid of these. There we go, very nice. So the, the, the Iron for Grizzly just stands proudly there in between nothing. It's just like I'm the the bear of justice. Look at it, it's, it's such an angry looking bear. He just wants a cuddle, that's all. So we get the steady shot, that's it. Turnover. Thank you. Bang, bang, bosh. That's how we do. So, uh, I mean, it may be worthwhile playing the Alarmobot now and seeing if it does pull something incredibly great from the hand. Or maybe the Acolyte of Pain, but I'm tempted by just the Angry Chicken and one of these. There we go. Very nice. So we're we're doing some stuff there. I I I think it would be worthwhile trying to get the the angry chicken enraged somehow. I'm not sure how we're going to manage that, but we'll try. We'll try our best. So far, so good. I I see good things happening. I'm I'm confident. I'm I'm excited by the future. What the future holds. So not much going on here. Um, perhaps we're worthwhile playing. Yeah, we'll play the grunt out. We'll do one of these. There we go, rushing them down with the angry chicken as if it's the scariest thing known to man. And of course we've got two of the the most solid taunts you can possibly find just standing there. I mean look at the frost wolf grunt, look at the iron fur grizzly, look at the angry chicken. It's like a threesome of just glorious death. So what have you got for me? Multi-shot, so he's used a multi-shot here. He's taking out the iron fur and the angry chicken, but that's fine. We, we can, we can. Oh, we get the shield bearer. What a great pull from the deck, top deck, giving us the, all the favors today. So we're gonna play um, Accolade of Pain. Do we play the shield? But no, I think we should just go with a steady shot just now. Pop you like that. Very good. So he's down to 50% health already. He must be nervous. Pictaros, are you nervous? Because you should be. This is a scary combination that we have in front of you right here. What have you got for me? Let's see it. So he's using an explosive shot. To, to deal with the whole situation here, but we've got the silver bar. The, 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 the silver back is just it's just unparalleled, really. So I think what we'll play is the demolisher and the silver back, and, and just watch as he cowers in fear of this just deadly duo. Two damage, but this can also deal two damage. So it's really four damage here between six mana. I mean that that's a wonderful a wonderful array of. Oh, he's got the gladiator longbow. I, I'm sort of scared, but not really. So he's taken out my. Silverback Patriarch, but my Demolisher's just dishing out pain left, right and centre. Arcane Golem, it, it's an interesting thought, but perhaps we're best playing a Shield Bearer here. And we'll play the Nightblade, why not? There you go, have that, and then we'll do one of those. Very nice. So, we're, we're causing we're causing problems for this Hunter here. We're causing big problems, you'll be nervous. 
He really needs to deal with the shield bearer in some sort of way. What does he have though? Does he have a spell? Is he going to play a secret? No, he's just going to hit it with the gladiator longbow. I, I, I understand where he's going with that. So what have you got for me? Reckless Rocketeer, probably to, to take out the the Night Blade, perhaps. No, he's going for the Demolisher. I, I I can understand that. I can I can get behind that. So what what do we get? We get the Young Dragon Hawk. What a, a wonderful pull from the top deck. And uh, oh fuck it, we'll play the Golem as well. There we go. Populate that. Give him give him some shit to think about. There we go. One, two, three, bish, bash, bosh, turn eight, that's how we do. See, greatest deck known to man. People people just don't know what to deal. They just they just can't deal with the, the glorious nature of what I've got in this deck. So I think we'll go back to casual and we'll do another game. We'll see how, how shit plays out. So yeah, the, the Hunter deck, is, it's just such a, a vicious combination of cards. People just don't know how to deal with it. And I'm excited by what I've got. We didn't even get half the deck pulled out there. There's other stuff that's going on in there that people just don't understand. Things that people... So, Shammy. Mr. Shaman. What have you got for me, Shammy? Um, as far as a starting hand goes, this is a fairly... Oh, it's a wonderful starting hand. The Ancient Watcher is going to be instrumental in making sure shit goes on. So, with the coin, we might actually coin out an Ancient Watcher first turn. Or no, 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 no. I think the Mana Wraith might actually do us, do us a job. Um, oh, we got a shield bearer also. This is this is this is exciting. So what I'm going to do? I'm going to coin out the shield bearer and also the young dragon hawk. Have that, you slag. We'll break the the vegetables. Oh, oh we've caused a glitch. The water's now flowing endlessly. It's just so scared by what's going on. It's wetting itself in just fear. So he plays a totem. What are we going to do with that totem? Nobody knows. I don't even know myself. Um, do I play the Ancient Watcher now or do I...? No, I think we'll just do it this way. Fuck it, why not? So we'll take one damage off the hero. Bash you in the face. There we go, that's how we do it. The shield... Shield bearer just standing there proudly. His beard looks like tentacles of horror. Tentacles of horror! An album by Leviathan. Black metal, very good. Would recommend. So what are you going to do with that Stormforge Dax? You're going to hit me once. Ain't no thang. The shield bearer's like, what are you even doing? What what are you playing at, son? Um, so, I think we're going to play the, the vicious duo of an Alarmobot and a Wisp. Look at it, it's just wonderful. It's just standing there proudly. Three three cards, a total of what, 800 mana and one damage between them. Lightning Storm. Kind of expected something of the sort. So the Alarmobot stays alive. And he's, he, see the Alarmobot's like a taunt. He's scared of what the Alarmobot might pull out of my deck. So he's like, I'm going to deal with that straight away. What we're going to do here, I think what we're going to do is... I'm tempted to play the Shield Bearer, but I think I'll just play the Magma Rager. And if he wants to take the 5 to the face, then he's going to take the 5 to the face. Magma Rager, wonderful card, 3 mana, 5 damage, 1 health. It, it doesn't survive as long as you would hope, but it certainly does damage. That's what we're here for. We're here to... Do See, he's going to take the 5 damage to the face. Like a chump. Is that right, Eel? Eel! Eel! What are you doing, Neil? What, what you got for me? There we go. So he's taking the five damage to the face, as was written. We've still not taken any damage at all, because that's who we are. We're just hardened by warfare. Um, so I'm going to play... Yeah, I think that's a good shout. We'll play you. And we'll play you. So awfully scary. What we can try and do is try and activate the Ancient Watcher somehow. And um, perhaps with a silence. I don't know. The water's still going. It's just petrified of what I've just played. It's like, what is going on in the world? He's playing things that no one ever imagined was possible. So the Knife Juggler comes out. Not very scary. So Defender of Argus. That nah, is causing problems, but it's something we can work with. We can work towards dealing with this situation somehow. I know that we can. So, I'm thinking... What I'm thinking is, I'm thinking that it's worthwhile playing this guy. Um, so, what what we'd need to do in this situation is probably... Yeah, I think I think that's a good idea, so we'll do it this way, we'll do... There we go, you you die, that's fine, we've, we've dealt with that situation. Then we're gonna do... Do I play the Mana Wraith or do I go to... Oh, we'll go to face, fuck it, why not, and we'll just hit you once. There we go. We're working them down. We're, we're grinding them down over time. This is how we do. This is how this deck does. The Warden's going to be particularly important with with particular plays. So I think the Warden's just going to slow things down 
put the tempo back in my side of the court, and then we'll see what's going on. Ancient Watcher still sitting there. He's just biding his time. He's just watching. He's just over. He just oversees proceedings. He's like running the show from behind the scenes. He knows what's going on, but he's not telling anyone yet. And there's like a fucking what is that flying thing? It's like a, a griffin or something in the griffin. There's something in the front here that's just waiting for shit to happen. It's like his dog. He's brought his dog to work. Show and tell with the Ancient Watcher brings his dog. That's how he does. Secret Keeper. We've got no secrets, but that doesn't matter. The Secret Keeper is still a card that we can play for one mana. Um, I think what we're worth doing here is... Look, we'll do... We'll, oh, wait. Maybe we should have played. Yeah, no, no. That's fine. That's fine. And we'll do you. And we'll... Oh, but I've done it the wrong way around. See, sometimes I get confused by what's going on. But these, these are just the things that we do. Now, what's making that noise? I, I've played so many great cards that the game is glitching out. That's what's happening here. Is he, what's he... What's he glowing for? Is it because he's glowing extra bright? <laughs> Still glowing. So Totems get 2 plus health. Or plus 2 health, rather. So he's played a few cards that may be scary. But I don't think they're scary. These are things that we can deal with. The, 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 this is all just kind of surface wounds. The, these are not instrumental in, in, in losing. This is not a loss yet. So he's decided to go for the... the the, sh the, the, the warden, sorry, and now the mana the wraith's been taken out. It doesn't matter though, because we've still got that ancient watcher just standing there, and the ancient watcher's like, well, oh, and we pull, we pull the greatest legendary, so we're gonna play you. What have you got for me? Oh, oh, and we'll play. Ah, oh, we'll, we'll play you. Oh, it was that one making the noise. Well, I don't know why you were making noise like that, but there we go. Oh, he's, he's getting buffed up to buggery. Look at him. He's gonna be proud as hell. An awesome invention. So we, we probably got the most awesome of all the awesome invent the the Emboldener 3000, very bolding. I, I'd love it to give the Ancient Watcher something so the Ancient Watcher can't do anything with it, but he'll know it's there. That's why he's important, because he just stands there, he's like a fear aspect. He just stands there making sure that people are scared of him watching them. He's more like a pervert, to be honest, just kind of watching, but still, these are the things that we do. We have him here and he does the job. So what have you got for me? Come on, Shammy. So you've used a Hex, at least it gives us a Golden Taunt with no damage, but one health, I mean the one health might be important, could be the difference between life and death. So the Emboldener 3000 has now been reduced to to just a 0-4, perhaps we can do something with the 0-4, we've still got the 1-2 that can do some stuff. So he's used the Dire Wolf for, for taking out our Golden Taunt. So I'm starting to see the game slip away from us slowly. These, these, I mean, he's taking a full turn to deal with what I've got on the board. It's, it's scary for him. He knows it's scary. He knows what's going on here. He knows that this is a, a frightening situation to be in. So he's, he's went to face uh, oh, old Markai. That this is this is the important part of the game here. Look at this. We're just going to work him down here. So if you got charge, you do have charge. What we're we going to hit with the charge? Nothing. Well, we are. We're going to hit this guy here and just like just we'll just trade. Fuck it. Why not? There we go. Trading. Trading is what we do best. So we've still got the four five that's not doing anything. We've got the zero two which is not doing anything. I think that um, I think this game. I think we lost the game just due to. Due to going second, I'd say. There's no other reason why we should have lost that game. So, we, we lost. We lose games, we win games. I mean, it's uh, we've got a 50% win ratio. We've got a 1-1 one, one win-lose ratio. That, that's fine, though. I think we should go in and do one more game. And just see if we can if we can get a 2-1 win-lose ratio. I'll be happy. I'd say it's a good deck. We might even run it in ranked. You never know. I mean, these things... As I said, it's a rigorous process, we go through testing things, so what we can search for taunts, maybe I'll search for more because we don't have enough taunts in this deck. We're maybe too fast, that's probably the problem. Still though, we can review what's happened in the video, and of course you can comment with your suggestions as to what we should do with the deck. I mean, it's a it's a solid deck, I'd say, so against Druid, we should, we should be good. Druid tends to be a bit slower, so with our ultra-fast... Random <laughs> hunter deck. We should be doing okay. So these cards are not very good for going seconds. I'm going to throw back you. You. Um, no, we need the watcher. The watcher's just too important in every play that I make. He, he's just important to everything. So good. This is a solid set of cards that I can play. And we get the coin. The coin probably a, a very underrated card. I wish I could put it in my deck. Hi, hi there. So I think what we'll do is we'll start with the chicken. It's like making dinner. We're starting with a chicken and we'll finish with the Elven Archer. That's how dinner should be. 
And for dessert, you'll get an ancient watcher to the face. Or maybe not to the face, maybe just generally there. So you've gone for the chicken straight away. I understand that. The chicken, it's a threatening beast. That 6-0 is obviously going to be very important. Um, do I start with the ancient watcher? It's not time for the ancient watcher. I think we coin out the iron for grizzly. And make him fear the bear. The bear is a very scary card that's just menacing. Look at it, it's horrible. It was. Well, it's, it's also very nice. It's cute! You give him a wee scratch under the chin, he'd be alright. So what are you doing with that then? You're gonna do a hero power as well. Go on. On you go. There we go. So we could play the Arcane Golem. I, I mean, of course, it's gonna make sure that the opponent is very- Oh, no, no. We play the Magma Rager. Look at, look at that card there. That's, that's a glorious, just a card that people are scared of. Is he going to go to face with it? Is he going to use his hero power to deal with it or not? That's the question. These are the questions he has to ask himself. How am I going to deal with this Magma Rager? He does, he's, he's gobsmacked. He doesn't know what to do. He's sitting here thinking, this man's just played a Magma Rager. What am I going to do with myself? My day is ruined. Now the Magma Rager's just sitting in front of me and I've ruined my day. The whole world is just working against me. He's going to have anxiety problems for the rest of his life. And that's why we've chosen these cards. These cards instill a fear in people that they just can't explain. They're just like, well, what am I going to do? I'm, I'm fucked. The, the game's over. Game's a bogey. You might as well concede now, Druid. Even though we're both on full health. So he's, he's, he's getting worked up. I can see that he's working up. He's he's scared. He's scared of the Magma Rager. He doesn't know how to deal with it. Well, look at him. He's, he's got nothing. He's got nothing for the Magma Rager. Magma Rager's just sitting there like, what you got for me? And he ain't got shit. Do you have a response to the Magma Rager, or are you just going to sit here and are we going to just... No so look at this, we're, we're causing him to, to even waste a full turn thinking of what to do with that Magma Rager, it's just such a terrifying card. Nature will rise against you. Indeed, you've said that before already, I'm, I'm not sure if you're fully appreciating the, the, the magnitude of this, <laughs> the magnitude <laughs> of this situation that we've got here. So what, what we could do, what we could do here, we've got four mana, what can we do with four mana? We could play this guy and just use the charge. I, th I think we'll go, no, 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 I, I think what we'll do is we'll do this and we'll take the nine damage straight off your face. No, we'll take ten damage, fuck it, why not? Scary, that, that's scary that this just happened to you, I understand that, Druid. You're going to be scared, but you've got six mana to deal with that. I'm giving you a head start here. I'm giving you a chance to get back in the game. Are you going to take it? What's this guy doing? Is he is he just waiting out the game? See, he's terrified. He doesn't know what to do. He's saying, I've got these cards, and I'm like, I don't know how to play them. See, he's, he's sitting there, he's like, I've got all these cards, but I'm not really sure how I play the cards. How do you play the game? I'm not sure. I've never played the game before. Maybe maybe, maybe he's new to the game and he's thinking, what the fuck is going on? How, how is this even happening? So, he, he seems to be saying nature will rise against me, but I'm not sure he fully appreciates the, the magma shit <laughs> of the situation. So, come on now. Play a card. All we need to do is play a card. That's that's the only thing that you need to do here is just play a card, and then so, so the game the game plays like this. You play a card, and then the other person plays a card, and we both play cards nice. until someone wins. That is why this is the greatest deck of of all time. It's, it's even still burning down. It's like we're not finished here yet. So yes, greatest deck of 2014. That's how we do.